All right, ladies and gentlemen, this thing's locked up. It's a half inch drive. It's an older ratchet. It uh, doesn't do anything. WF38, but I think it's a plum. Yep. Yep, PL, V, I think it looks like V, PLU, MB. Anyways, take it apart. I think it'll, I think it'll work. I think it's going to be a good ratchet. I'm just going to take it apart first, see what I got, and then set this in some rust remover. Oh man. Well, let's see, I got some trash in there. Can't get my driver down in there deep enough. Maybe a rock in there. It could be just a, just a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of uh, rust. Well, I can't find my other little pick. Oh. There it goes. Yep, dry as a bone. See? See how far back this goes? Looks how old this mechanical system is. This this one's stuck rusted. That's what it was, just stuck rusted. Whoa! Just lost a spring somewhere. Now I gotta find that spring. Alright, let me uh, stop what I'm doing. It's a good example of what I said before. Put it in a large Ziploc bag so you don't do what I just did. Hang on, let me try to find this stupid magnet. I mean, this uh, uh, spring, I'm gonna use a magnet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've lost the spring. Can't find it. But I have another, I have some old springs out of another one I saved. I'm gonna see if it'll work. If it does, then I'll finish doing this. If not, I'll stop until I can find parts. We'll see. Won't we'll take but a moment here. Figure this out. Oh, that spring's almost, almost too big. Find out here in a moment. switch oh well I just want the cover to come off you know it's weird if I put it together properly. That's what I was thinking. Damn, that switch is on the wrong side. Well, my idiot self put it on the wrong side. Okay. I got it now. That spring, the spring I got in there will work. Let's pull this off. Ah, get back down in there.
okay, what I want to know is where's the stop on this? Why does it want to go further? So my spring is just a little bigger, but it will work. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this. My question is, why does this want to keep, I thought there was a stop of some kind to keep this from going further left to right. Huh. Okay. Now, let's let me not lose a spring here again. Because I don't know where the other one is. And I've got a clean floor. I, I, I guess it's rolled somewhere up against something and I can't see it. Let's show you the difference in the springs. This one is the original size springs. This is the one I'm going to replace. I'm going to add one. That size. Depth wise are the same. It's just the 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 top of the spring, the diameter of the spring, the base of the springs are the same. It's just the top of the diameter is bigger. Just a little bit. So, it will work. I'm not worried about that part. I'm just going to put this in some rust dissolver and let that work because this is, uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, let's do that. I'll come back and rinse it off and then show you what we'll get. I'll let it sit in this rust. I don't have, uh, all I have right now is a rust-oleum. I do have some acid, uh, some vinegar, but I don't want to leave it set in vinegar overnight. I don't have the time because I got to go back to work. Next week's going to be hectic, so I want to try to at least get this cleaned up today. See what we get. All right, I don't see what here. Camera. I went ahead and I didn't have a something deep enough, and it's already starting to flash rust. I rinsed them off in the water. Went ahead and stuck all these parts in that uh, rustoleum. That's grease on there. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure what to do on this. I think I'm just. I'm gonna see if I can polish it. See what it, what it looks like polished. I don't know if I can polish the inside of that or not. I may have to paint that. Anyways, you can see. I don't know if there was a plating on this. I've never seen one. You know, I know my dad had some when I was a kid, some old ratchets like this, but yeah, when you're a kid, you don't pay much attention. And then later on, when you get your own vehicle, you don't, because uh, I bought my first vehicle when I was 15. I bought a 49 Ford pickup. Always working on that thing. Single barrel Holly carburetor. That thing, always, always, always working on that thing. Six volts. If you've never if you've if, if you've never done it before, you explode a six volt battery with the twelve volt charger. Well, I've done it. That sucked. Don't know how I didn't lose my vision on that, but I didn't know. I learned really quick that a twelve volt charger doesn't work on a six volt battery. think these are like a are this is this aluminum hang on let me no it's a weird color though it almost looks aluminum yeah wf 38 
I thought it was Western Forge when I first seen it. WF usually, Western Forge usually means craftsman. All right, let's go to the wire wheel and see what this does. I might as well just leave the inside dirty for now and then we'll come back with a Dremel on the inside. That's, I cleaned the inside with the Dremel tool, got it all nice and clean, and wire wheel, and then the fiber wheel, and now I'm going to go ahead and polish it. I'm not going to polish this raised area right here, I think I'm just throw a coat of paint on that. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to look. I don't... I'm afraid the air over time is going to rust this. I don't know what metal this is. I don't think it was chrome plated. Maybe nickeled? Or it could have been just, uh, I know back in the day some of these were just metal. Anyways, I'll fire this uh, vacuum up and fire this polisher up and we'll get after here in just a second. Just going to show you guys, I got it taped off. I'm just going to paint this uh, indented area with uh, sunshine red, sunrise red. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Probably something somebody ain't going to like, but it's what I like. Anyways, be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a week 
and I've had to work so much. Just got back out in the shop. I just found this in the trash can. I guess I had it sitting over the trash can drying last week. Fell in the trash can, now it's all dirty, so. Let's put this thing together and call it done. Ah, uh, been a long week, ladies and gentlemen. Sucks to be poor and have to work for a living. But then again, gives me something to do. At least I'm not a scumbag living off the world. Oh, feels good getting out in the shop. Boy, I taped this off pretty good. Man, can't believe it, it fell in the trash can. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I was saying. I shouldn't have hung it over the trash can anyways. Oh, it's all right. It'll clean off with a little wax. Let's just put this thing together and call her done. You know, I don't remember which way was which on this thing now. I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's see. Plum. If I put the numbers. Yeah, that'll look good, I think. Plum showing there and Made in USA on that side. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and a little grease on this. I'm just putting, uh, for those of you who don't know, I use lithium, a mobile one lithium grease. You can use whatever you want. I know the, on the ratchets, I've said this before, I know Snap-on uses, I can't even remember what it's called. I got some of it somewhere, Super Lube, I think. I use this grease because I know I was there when they installed some pump motors at work in 1991. Them pump motors are still there and they're, they're running. They run seven days a week. We don't shut them down. We can't shut them down. We have backups. We rotate them sometimes. Uh, a couple of the motors have been rebuilt. Uh, pretty sure one of them's been running ever since uh, 91. And this grease, the company that sold us the motor, either sold us the motors or sold us the bearings to rebuild the second motor, told us to use this grease and only this grease or they wouldn't honor the warranty. So, we've been using this mobile one ever since. And I know I have to, uh, I get PMIs, which PMIs are preventive maintenance uh, logs that I have to, I used to take care of the motors. I don't do that as much anymore, but back in the day when I did, I had to go out there, they're grease -serted. So, anyways, I maintained the motors. This is the grease I used. We still use it. And those motors are running they're variable speed, so some of them run 2400 to 3500 RPM. This is not going to run at that speed. So this little bit of lithium grease is going to be just fine. No problems. For those of you that like to complain and gripe about certain grease, use what you like. And nobody's forcing you to use oil if you like motor oil. It's no big deal. Just a thing. Now, there again, I don't remember, the last video, or the beginning of this video, I lost a spring. So, that's the bigger spring that I have left over from another ratchet, and that's what I'm gonna use. It will work. No big deal. I've screwed up ratchets before and lost parts, so those of you that do this and wanna work on a a tool uh, make sure if you're not confident of your ability do it in a large Ziploc gallon bag which I've already screwed up on this one and I'll tell you why I'll show you here 
what I should have done, shoulda, coulda, shoulda done, I need to put this first. I'll leave this in the video. I don't mind showing my mistakes. If I show it, somebody else won't do it. Then this goes in there. Now this one, I'm going to switch the selector. If you switch the selector over to the side, it gives you more room for the spring. Pushes over. Push this in there. Go, 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 go. There we go. Push over, and it worked. Oh, look at there. Well, supposed to work if you hold your fingers in the right place and don't screw up. <laughs> it's all right. It's easy. These are easy. They're 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 not complicated at all. If you find these out in the wild, <laughs> out there at a garage sale or flea market, pick it up. These are very inexpensive ratchets for the money. The month they're they're just they're worth it. Let's see if I can drop this in there without screwing up. There we go. Real simple. I know there's other people that have videos and how to make and take these apart. They, they really are. If you find them inexpensive, pick them up. They're good quality steel. Uh, most of this at this age is probably Americans made steel. It's not foreign. You know, nowadays when you buy an American made wrench, you're getting an American made wrench, but you're probably not getting American steel. It's probably imported. What I don't know, I don't know about this is this switch will, it'll toggle all the way around. But here, let's put the screws in. Oh, I didn't clean the screws off. Hang on a second, let me clean these screws off. All right, I'm back. I am gonna put a little drop of uh, <coughs> Loctite. <coughs> Excuse me. Just don't want it to come apart. Just like that. This is not going to be a, oh, this ratchet is more for how it looks, I guess you could say. I will, I might use it. Normally when I do a job, I pull out three or four ratchets and put a different socket on each ratchet. And then that way, I don't have to fumble with taking a socket off. Half inch ratchet. You know what? There it goes. I don't, I'm not sure why because this thing will go pretty far. Huh. I don't know why I like doing that with a ratchet, but I like swinging it around. I'm gonna have to look up why there's not a stop on this, why it goes way past. Is the screw the stop? I guess the screw could be the stop. I don't know. I don't know, I don't care. I got a good use ratchet here for, I don't know what I gave for this thing. I made 10 bucks maybe, I don't know. You know, I probably will use it. This is a wax for you guys that ask, it's mother's wax. I use it on everything, like it. I didn't do a whole lot. This thing's not perfect by any means. It's not a showpiece. I don't, 
I normally don't make my tools, uh, they don't normally hang on a wall. They don't, I say that, I got things hanging on a wall, but I use my tools. Uh, sometimes I have tools I take to work and I'll use them, bring them home. And sometimes I, I have three huge toolboxes at work. Depending on the day and what I'm doing, I'll switch tools. And some of these tools that I clean up, I take at work and leave at work. And for those of you that use your tools at work, you know, I, 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 I take care of my tools very, very, very well. And the reason I do is because tools for me make me money. They either make it or save it. You know, if I use my tools at home, it's usually saving me something. I mean, if uh, at work, tools make me money. I have to have my tools to make money. I can't, you know, I can't sit behind a computer. Uh, I repair whatever comes down. Whatever the work order comes down, I have to fix it. I mean, I fix everything from a desk drawer to an oxygen port, to a hospital bed, to a wheelchair, put up new walls, fire rated. Everything that I do normally, I do mostly in-house construction and I keep up with fire codes, the ADA requirements, which uh, American Disability Act, I have to keep that up. Uh, that everything has, a, if you work in a facility like mine, it's, it's uh, it is subject to federal and OSHA regulations, uh, CMS. There's different, different entities that we have to follow and go by. So everything has a code. It's amazing. Most people don't know it, but when you walk into a federal building or any state, most state buildings in our state, it's fire rated. You know, everything has a certain barrier. And I have to keep up with that. Anyways, enough of my talking. Look at there, ladies and gentlemen. A junky little old antique ratchet made by Plum, which precursor to Proto Tools, which is professional tools. I mean, it works good. Smooth action. It's old. I don't know, this... Probably, there's not a WF-38 is the number. I'll go out on a limb. This is like 1940s, somewhere, give or take a decade. Uh, I left it, look, look at the character. Yeah, I call it character. Someone actually used this back in the day and used a hammer on it to, to bust a nut loose. Check that out. That is, that's what I mean about not bringing it to brand new or artwork. This is not artwork. I did this just because I wanted to. This is my favorite color. It's Indian, I call it Indian red. It's, a, it's the same color pretty much as a 1977 Porsche, Indian red. That's a, it's one of my favorite colors. It's the first paint, paint I ever used to paint a car with. I use this color in uh, but anyways, it looks kind of like uh, Craftsman Red, I guess you might say. But anyhow, you can see uh, I polished it pretty good. There's some, I polished it, but I didn't get all the damage out of the top up there. Uh, I noticed I missed a spot when I polished. You can see, you can see where you miss when you're polishing after you do it. It's, sometimes it's hard to see when you're polishing. I mean, I didn't spend a whole lot of time. This is cool. This ratchet's nice. It'll go in my set. And I will use this every once in a while. I say it's a trophy piece, but not really. I mean, I use all my tools. Junk tools, old tools. And like I said, I got the wrong size spring on one side, but that doesn't affect the, the use. Uh, and I still haven't found that stupid spring. And I've looked a couple days uh, after work, a couple hours, and couldn't find it. I don't know where it disappeared to. 
and my shop's clean. I mean, I didn't let my wife vacuum my shop last weekend because I've been looking for that spring, but she'll probably come in this weekend and vacuum my shop up. She's pretty good about that. She's, she's meticulous about that. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I've been blabbing too much. Uh, what do you guys think? Pretty good little tool. I think I have to look, but I've got 10 bucks in this thing probably. I know one I paid $15 for, but I think I talked them down to 10. These are old, old school. It's the plum, it's got the arrowhead still on it. These are, these are just cool to have. I will use it, and it feels good in the hand too. Man, this will make a good weapon, it's heavy. It is heavy. I don't know what it weighs, but it's, uh, it's, it's a hefty tool. Sorry guys, ladies and gentlemen, the battery died. I don't know where I'm at, but anyways, here's a plum, just finished it. Uh, it's old school plum, and this is, a, this is a good use tool. It's not a piece of art, it's something that I'll probably use once in a while and works great. Uh, these are timeless, the spring and paws in here, they're used extensively with other brands. And if you find anything, any shape like this, just buy it. I guarantee you, if it's a good price, if it's under 10 bucks, that ratchet is a good deal. It, it, they, they, these are just made so well, they last a long time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough of me. Uh, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you think. I hope you like it. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but it's a good use tool. It's usable, and I'm sure most people would enjoy just having it or using it. All right, guys, you have a good day.